it's been a couple of weeks since we did an unboxing on this channel so it's time we've had a new parcel arrive and it's time to do an, uh, another unboxing this is a smallish box you can see it's the size of a of a book and that's exactly what the contents is so if you stay with me for a second or two I'm going to shift the camera over to where the table is and we're going to cut this box open and I'll show you exactly what's inside. Quite exciting. I always love receiving parcels. Um, I guess that's part of the idea as to why I started my website Creations from Jerusalem all about gifts and giving parcels and so on. Join me in a second or so and we'll have a look at what's inside this box. Before we do so, let me introduce myself if you haven't met me already. I'm Shoshana Shia. I'm an occupational therapist. I'm an artist and an author. Um, my art is more abstract, spiritual, intuitive art. I'm working on improving some of my drawing skills for the purpose of illustrating some workbooks, some books, um, bringing out some other art that I'd love to do and doing some coloring books, coloring in books. There's some change happening in my life, which is why there's variety happening on this channel. But to a certain extent, variety is good. So if you're interested in learning anything about occupational therapy, some tips as to how it can help you to be successful in your life, or you'd like to learn a little bit more about how to use art and writing to, to earn and be successful, um, or you're interested in some Aliyah tips, that's a relatively new playlist on this channel, then uh, you might be interested in this channel, in which case do subscribe, click that like button, and remember to put a comment. If you put a comment, it helps me to know uh, what kinds of videos people are enjoying, what they enjoy, if you've got questions, what kinds of videos you'd like to see more of, and that's that helps me to keep on creating more videos. So join me. We're going to look at what's inside this box and I'll chat to you shortly. So here we are on the other side of the video and we're going to be cutting open this little, this little box. Did manage to have a pair of scissors set up and ready. All right been difficult to open. For those who are particular about details, I have got the box under upside down. And I've done that for a reason because I didn't want the label to be showing. This box has come from Amazon and it includes some of our own books almost done so they'll be coming upside down first up is my husband's book Pasha in just two minutes which is an excellent book and we're in need of some more copies so that's the first one that comes up I highly recommend it. Um, it gives an excellent summary of each aliyah for the Pasha. Um, let's see if we have a look over here. There we go. We see this is Pasha's Bereshit and there is each of the aliyot, a summary of each of the aliyah, not going into huge detail. And it's really nice to be able to read if you're in shul and you're needing something to keep you busy instead of chit-chat. So we have two of those that we got. Next up is a notebook that I created and I wanted to see how the cover design worked. I'm quite happy with that cover design. Um, I wanted to have a look. One of the difficulties and challenges that there's been in learning how to do the journals, workbooks and other low, medium and high content books is that um, KDP for a while was not sending books to Israel. They've started to send again the books that are available for sale on the 
author's copies but not proof copies so all of these books have been put up and I wanted to see also how the the lines come out I think I'm quite happy with the color of those lines and the size also I think I put this at 18 point for the font for the line space so that's just a lined journal not available so much anymore on KDP but that was the end of the range and I wanted to see how it came out next is a very exciting one this really should have been a proof copy but since we were not able to get a proof copy we've we've uh, activated it in order to proofread it and make sure what changes are necessary it's a novel that's my mother has written R.A. Khan um, goes along with her novel of relationships it's called a very brave girl there are a few changes that we're in the process of making on the cover design but uh, we'll be reading through and making sure that we're happy with everything in the novel and then that's going to be available for you so if you have any children who are aged 9 to 12 this might be a novel that's of interest So the next book is this journal of, of favorite family recipes, which uh, I did the cover and the formatting of the interior. Um, I see immediately that the border that I'd, <clears throat> that I'd created has been cut off in a few places. So I'm going to have to go back and see whether that's a manufacturing error or if that's any problem with the bleed that I'd set up, um, whether I'm needing to give more space for the for the border it doesn't look too bad it perhaps is I could get away with it I'll have to see a little bit more something that I was interested to test by writing in it specifically which is why I've gone ahead and ordered a copy is to see whether this box that I've left here for the ingredients and for the method also whether it's enough space um, it, I guess it would depend on the size of somebody's handwriting I have done a little bit of variety in the layout. Not sure if I can find one of the variations right now. Or whether I, here we go. Some of them I gave more space, more space for the method, but I'm not sure whether I've given enough space for the ingredients. So that I'm going to be testing. And uh, if anybody's interested, I'll be happy to, happy to let you know. This is one of my journals that's up on my author central up on kdp and the link is in the description below that's another one of my notebooks um i think i'm quite happy with that cover you can let me know what you think if you enjoy that cover this is one of my lined journals which would be quite useful to be able to to do some writing in i have some uh some thoughts that I'm working on towards um, another book and another project. This particular one, I've put a space at the top to be able to put the date in or if you have a subject or anything. If you have a, an interest in journals with writing prompts, do let me know because I have some ideas that I'd be working on. Some ideas for further... Um, for further workbooks and further journals this this journal is as a, as you see it's a gratitude journal and uh, I've put a couple of prompts I put here I am grateful for and I put specifically lines on the one page and blank on the other so that it's possible it gives the possibility for anybody to be able to have some variety and either stick in pictures that go with whatever it is you're grateful for um, to put in a card perhaps you received a card a note a notelet a thought to do some drawing of your own those are opportunities of things that you can put into your gratitude journal um, it's another journal that I'm going to be testing out and deciding whether I need to put any other pages 
If you have any requests of what you'd like in your gratitude journal, let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to be able to create a different gratitude journal. Um, one with some more writing prompts in it, one with some more design in the formatting. This book I've left for last specifically, it's a lot of fun. Each page is absolutely different. Um, I'm working towards doing a, a series of this particular book and doing it with, as I improve um, my work on the Wacom and the graphic art, digital art, to be able to use it as an opportunity both to develop this and to improve, to learn the skills of what's necessary in producing digital art. This little book comes from a game that um, my mom used to do with us at parties very often. It's wonderful for improving imagination, for improving cognitive thought, creative thinking. And uh, if you look inside, I'll show just a few pages. Um, that would be a good squiggle to show. I guess these two would be, would be, um, take that box out the way. Taking out a pencil over here, I should have done that already. These two squiggles, two variations of a circle, the one is an incomplete circle and that could be turned either into a, um, a sun, a moon, a design. Um, it's up to you, obviously, this is just a squiggle that's the start of a picture and it's up to you to turn that into the picture and to complete the design. That could be if, um, if we're to, to draw the sun On the inside, that gives you the start towards that sunshine and then to go on and draw the rest of the picture. I have to decide whether... whether to do a drawing here live or I haven't quite got into that. This, this uh, beginning of an A really could be could become, if you want to, that could become years. Here's one that perhaps would make a little bit more sense. I'm not sure if I, if you can see if I do a little bit of a drawing here. But this one can turn into a mug. as far as possible to make that even. I'm doing this very very quickly so it's not as effective as it could be and of course the mug we could put onto a table and you can put that onto a saucer. Once again I probably should take more time to do this more effectively but that gives an idea as to how you can turn the squiggle into something that one could be a mug you can decide what it is that you would like the squiggle to become um, this one could become a picture frame and you can draw inside what your favorite picture would be perhaps put that on the wall or you could make it into This could become um, a cell phone, it could be a picture, it could be the start of a book. It's up to you to decide what each of the squiggles would become, so that's a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to testing out and, and improving my drawing as I work with each of the squiggles. If you're interested in having fun with this, it's available on Amazon and KDP, and you'll find a link in the show notes below. And if you're interested in further ones, I'm going to be doing up the next swiggles inside would be ones that I've drawn myself instead of finding elements on um, any of the programs like Canva that I've used to put it together. So those are the books that we've ordered today and I do need to look through them in quite a lot of more detail 
to decide whether I'm happy, completely happy with all, everything that's to do with both the cover and the formatting and the content. Um, that's what I, one of the one of the um, income streams that I have on the go is the various books that I that I'm creating. It's quite a learning curve, lots to learn. Um, I must say that some of the formatting has become easier with progress of different programs. For example, the my mother's book that I did the formatting of, when I was formatting my own book, Word was not at the level that it is now. Word has progressed. Let's turn this around. So I was saying that there's been, there have been changes in each of the programs that I've been using. Um, in Word, for example, in MS Word, the version that I was using at the time that I that my husband and I did the editing and the formatting of the book that I wrote, um, Healing Your, Your Life Through Activity, which you'll see coming up on the screen. The version of Word was not as advanced as it is now. So now, doing the formatting of the book, there was a little bit of learning that I, need to, I needed to do in order to figure out um, where the styles are now. There's been some changes in, in uh, the whole layout of Word to find things in different places. Some things that I was used to um, have changed completely. So I did need to do a little bit of learning, watching a number of YouTube videos. And uh, I'm quite happy from of what it is that I've seen so far in the, in the book, A Very Brave, Brave Girl. But I need to look at that in a lot more detail. The formatting that I've done for the journals and for the um, for the workbooks that I have on the go. Some of that I'm trying to do as much as I can in programs that are available for free. Um, I want to use up, improve my skills as, as much as possible for what's available and what we have available before going to, to outsource to outlay to have to use, for example, InDesign, which would, which opens the door for Creating a lot more books and a lot more workbooks and types of formatting is possible, but I'm not at the level yet to be out to be um, re-signing up for Adobe. So these are the journals that I have available now. Um, I have some others that I'm working on behind the scenes. I'll be letting you know as they're ready and as they as I launch them or as they up uploaded to KDP. I've also been exploring some other options for self-publishing. So if self-publishing, creating journals and so on is of interest to you, do let me know. I'm undecided as to to what extent I could teach the formatting side or the creating side because I'm learning a lot of that as I go. I wouldn't say that I'm an, ex an expert at all, but there are some tips that I could give. I'll link at the end of this video a previous video that i did a little bit about some some tips that i have related to amazon and kdp and with that i hope that this little unboxing has been of interest to you i'd be interested to hear which of the journals or which of the books that you've seen today come up that you were interested in what kinds of journals what kinds of workbooks what kinds of um coloring in books are you interested in do you have an interest for coloring in books for adults, for children? What age range? What subject matter? These are all things that I'm working on and I'm interested to know what your thoughts are. If you've not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so and click that like button if you've enjoyed the video. And of course, as I request, please do put a comment, a thought into the comments below. It helps me to know what it is you've enjoyed it helps me to know what videos you're interested in seeing as i prepare and i create further videos and with that i wish you a very blessed day and i look forward to seeing you again in another video